a very good day here on the forex market with forex trendy watch the video until the end because i'm going to show you all the profitable trades that happen today hello everybody welcome to my channel today i'm going to show you how a very good day looks like here on forex trendy and on the forex market be a reminded that uh, every day is different so you're gonna have very good days and uh, even bad days when uh, there would be few uh, profit opportunities i made a video about the bad day typical bad day on the forest market uh, i will uh, um, i will link it at the end of the of this video so watch this video until the end because i'm gonna uh, show you all the profitable trades that happened today and uh, you will find the uh, bad day video okay so before starting subscribe to my channel hit the notification button if you want to use forex trendy you will find the link, the link below in the description so let's start yeah we are on the five minute charts um the oil we have a flag sell signal bracket 40 or 4 it's a very nice it was a very nice signal because the, the flag is um it's very long and uh, it took time to form it so it's a very good uh, uh signal that the, the pattern is uh, reliable is one of the uh, is one of the the signals okay that the, the the pattern is reliable so the the price broke through the trend line here and then we tested uh, two times with these little doges and then when went down here uh, testing the 39.40 level okay uh, then it bounced back uh, retesting again the, the trend line with this spike and then with no hesitation went down reaching the 37.40 level so it was a very nice trade let's jump to silver again we have this uh, um, Again, with nice uh, another great trade, we have a flag. As you can see, we we got a, another shoulder here, okay, and um, the price just uh, retesting the the neckline here around uh, 17 17.95 broke through the trend line, okay, and um, before retesting the trend line, if you if you miss the signal, don't uh, freak out because uh, often the price is going to retest the trend line. So it fell down, uh, reaching this uh, 1735 level with this very long spike. Many profitable opportunities here in this single trade because, as you can see, the price then bounced back here at 1748 and retested this level at 1780. You know, just tested two times before. Okay. <laughs> So as you can see here, yeah, you got two uh, profit opportunities. The first one, uh, the second one here. Let's jump to the USD SAC. Uh, we have a flag buy signal, break at 3192. Um, this trade wasn't good, uh, especially for the for those traders that have very tight stop loss. In fact, the the price after the breakout just went back inside the pattern, retesting the twenty nine forty two level. So a very strong one, you know, because uh, it was uh, a very strong support. It was uh, a previous strong resistance here when the price uh, um, bounced back here and then fell down. It retested this level and then it went back up. Okay, reaching the 36.43 level so a huge trade for traders that uh, have strategies and uh, wait for the situation uh, to get clear okay let's jump to uh, the Australian dollar and as we see uh, we have a triangle sell signal break at uh, 65.26 uh, we have this other shoulder here um, then this triangle formed the price uh, broke through the trend line here the 65.26 and uh, went down reaching the 65.04 level so another very profitable trade for uh, day traders out there let's jump to the australian dollar and the japan yen we have a flag sell signal uh, break at 73.59 
he went, he, he went down without no station reaching the 7332 level. So we had no uh, retest except for this uh, little uh, retracement here around 73.54 a previous support zone here okay as you can see and then the price went back down okay so if you if you miss the signal you can wait for a technical retest on the previous strong support area and then go uh, wait for the the trade to go home okay let's jump to the british pound and the australian dollar yeah, this trade looks like it didn't go in profit but uh, as you can see, as I will show you, it was a huge trade because um, we had a breakout here at 8079 and the price reached 8103. So at least we made um, 20 pips. Okay. So the price failed to uh, reach the, um, the previous highs here. Okay. The 100% around 8121. But uh, traders in this uh, um, that went long here made a respectable, uh, uh, respectable uh, profit. New Zealand dollar and Japan yen. We have a triangle sell signal break at 68.46. So the trade didn't go as expected because we we got this uh, breakout here with this long spike and then the price. Uh, bounce back inside the pattern um, the, um, it didn't move okay it was uh, we have a, a lateralization uh, moment very close to the American uh, ending to the ending of American session so I usually stay away from um, from signals that are uh, close to um, to lunch hours and to the hands of the sessions. Let's look at the last trade here on the Swiss C and the Japan Yen. Again, it's not a very good signal because uh, even though uh, it's not very clear from this picture, but I can see that the market is ranging, okay? Uh, the price broke through here, the, um, this resistance, okay, it just went back up and then it went back down again inside this range. And um, he retested this resistance other times. So if you are looking for a profit opportunity, then you must have uh, um, strategies for ranging markets. So the price broke through the trend line here at the 82 level, but it was not the right spot to enter short. Let's see the last trade here on the British pound to certain dollar, we have a falling wedge buy signal, a break at 8089. Again, uh, this is fresh because um, it happened at um, 8 pm, so uh, very close to the American ending session. I'm in Europe. Uh, the, uh, the Asian session is going to, uh, to begin here in a few hours, so uh, just stay away from the market in these hours. Okay. But we got a bunch of emerging patterns here. Um, I will show you. Um, today is Friday, uh, is uh, Wednesday, the 24th of June. So when I will upload this video on YouTube, it's going to be at least one week later. So these signals are not good anymore. And as you can see, we got a bunch of trades. Uh, and uh, emerging patterns uh, forming. So if you want to use Forex Trend, you will find the link below in the description. And uh, you will find many interesting opportunities. Okay. It's a very useful tool, guys. You will, uh, um, you will save your time. But in order to use it at its best, you need to have a strategy. So leave a comment below and let me know what you think. Uh, this was a very good day. Uh, bear in mind that not every day is the same. And subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned. See you soon. Bye bye.